Many people experience hunger not as an effect of actually being hungry or actually needing nourishment, but as an effect of something entirely different. What that is exactly can be different from patient to patient, but it's quite common that it has to do with either wanting to get rid of negative emotions or it could have to do with simply being used to eating in certain contexts, with certain people, and so on. So for someone who is struggling with, with this, I would recommend to identify in which situations it happens. It could be, for example, that in through many, many years, you've always eaten something when you get home from work, regardless if you're hungry or not. Your brain will have learned to respond with, with the behavior intentions of wanting to go to the fridge in that case. Everything that we've learned are things that we can unlearn. Uh, so for, for that type of patient, I would recommend that you put up reminders to remind yourself to act uh, in your value direction in these riskful situations. For example, you could put up a photograph of your children on your door if you feel like you often end up eating something as soon as you come in through the door. Seeing that photograph will activate your values and that will serve as an intensive to, to act in a more value direction. It's also common that people, as we've discussed, eat to get rid of negative emotions. So many people that end up in these situations have behavioral impulses to eat maybe because they're bored or maybe because they're tired or uh, maybe because they're sad. And so if you can't connect these problems to any kind of specific situations, then I would recommend this patient to think about what is going on inside of my body when I feel an impulse to go eat even though I'm actually full. For example, do I experience boredom or am I experiencing tiredness? Am I experiencing sadness, for example? and see if you can use uh, something else to help yourself in, in that emotion. The reminder of the values, of course, needs to be related to your values. Um, for example, if you care a lot about your partner, you could have a picture of your partner up. If you care a lot about your work, you can have something that has to do with, with that. The only important thing is that this um, reminder of your values is directly connected to your values and not someone else's. In this situation, it can be helpful to use the stop technique that we went through before. So if you, so if you slow down, if you take notice of what's going on inside you and outside of you, you observe the feelings that you have, and then you make a decision to act and to pursue your values uh, that will help you in uh, overcoming these difficulties. Uh, so as we've gone through, uh, comfort eating is, um, in its very definition, eating to get rid of negative emotion. So if I have had a difficult day at work um, and I feel tired and sad when I come home, I can comfort eat to get rid of the feelings of sadness. This is something that is quite destructive because uh, as we've gone through, the more we try and get rid of our emotions, the uh, more of those emotions we tend to get. So my advice to anyone who is struggling with comfort eating is to use for example the stop technique to observe what is happening in the moment and to then pursue a value consistent move. Uh, for example, if you have a value that is to be physically active and in tune with your body, a great way to relieve stress could be taking a walk, for example. Um, if you are someone who cares a lot about your relationship, a great uh, stress relief could be to call your partner or a friend. Binge eating is actually kind of like the end point of what happens when we try and use food to control our negative inner experiences. You can think of it like this. Um, if I experience, for example, sadness, and I go uh, have some chocolate to relieve that sadness, that will work for a little while, a few seconds, maybe even a minute. After that, I will be experiencing pretty intense feelings of guilt and shame, maybe thoughts like, I can't believe I'm doing this again. These feelings create even more pain in me. Because I'm used to dealing with pain by eating, that will then lead to me eating more chocolate or whatever type of food I'm consuming. Again, my feelings will be momentarily lessened, but again, after a few seconds or a minute, even worse feelings will come up again. So binge eating is actually a vicious cycle of trying to control your inner experiences with food. If you practice all the things that we've talked about in these videos, they are going to help you with uh, your problems with binge eating. So for example, 
consistently practicing mindful eating and developing a different relationship to food uh, will make you more in tune with the signals that your body is actually giving you. Um, I also really encourage you to use the stop technique and to try and get in touch with what feelings it is that you are avoiding by binge eating. If you have uh, severe problems with binge eating, I also really recommend that you talk to a therapist who can help you go through and see what feelings you're avoiding and where those feelings stem from and hopefully help you in other ways to deal with these emotions.